I wanna be realistic, but I'm gonna dream tonight. I'm looking for something different to give me the thrill I like. I don't wanna know the distance, I'd rather be on my way. In order to hey, my beautiful rainbows, it's Jade, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how you can DIY a rhinestone hair parting. Yes. We've had the glitter roots before. I'm sure we've had some other type of root. <laughs> now we have the rhinestone roots. Yes. Of course you don't have to go all out and use like Swarovski crystals or anything like that. You can just get some cheap gems from your craft shop and that is going to work perfectly. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload brand new videos twice a week. And of course, leave me a comment if you like this video. I love replying to all of your comments. so. Definitely write one below and I will reply. I have some rhinestones here. So these are pre-adhesive rhinestones. They do have a little bit of like adhesive glue stuff on them already. They're not super, super sticky. So I'm not sure if you just use them just as they are, how well it would actually stick. So I'm going to incorporate a little bit of stickiness from some hairspray or you can use hair gel or whatever you desire. So first things first, make sure that the part you're going to be working with is straight. So I have a towel comb here. I have my hair right here. I am just going to do a straight line just like this and then separate that hair for a nice crisp part. Now I have recently colored my hair. If you guys have not seen the tutorial for it, check it out. So I still obviously have a bit of color on my scalp. <laughs> Don't mind that, just cover it up with rhinestones. <laughs> what I'm going to do is take some hairsprays. Now you can actually spray it directly onto your scalp if you like, or you can spray a little bit onto your hands. Obviously don't spray it right onto your skin because that's dangerous, okay? I'm going to lightly just spray it, just so my hands get tacky. I'm not doing a massive spray, just a really light spray. And then I'm literally patting that into my scalp. And you can actually feel like the wetness of the hairspray. I just find you get more control than actually spraying it directly on your roots where it's gonna go everywhere and make a mess. It's actually easier if you get one that is already in the rows. It's just gonna save you so much time. So I'm going to place that directly onto my part. Now, the key is to try and get as much of those little baby hairs like out of the way as possible. You can slide some bobby pins in, you can use your hands or I don't know, you can use whatever other method you desire. Look at that, how cool is that? Oh my gosh. So I'm just basically going to be pressing that in and I can feel like the tackiness from the hairspray on there. And the good thing about this is like, it's not gonna be a pain in the ass to get out. You can easily wash it out if you want. These can just peel straight off and you're not gonna be left with like glitter everywhere. As much as I love glitter, if you want to make it last longer, you can take some hairspray and just really lightly spray it oh, on your face. Spray it on your, on your <laughs> just over the top and just lightly kind of press those in that little bit more. Here you have the finished look. Of course you can do the rhinestones as far back as you like. Even if you did some type of like pigtail parting with the part all the way down the back, this will look amazing with like rhinestones all the way down the middle of your parting. Oh my gosh, it is, yes. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. I need to wake up today now. Follow me, all the songs we can sing. We're on our way to nowhere. No possessions to bring. We're in the